this is ZBrush for R7, and I'm going to take a look at Array Mesh today. This is a really fun brush, and who doesn't want to get rich really, really quick? Right in front of us is an authentic 24 karat piece of gold, or a bar of gold, and we are going to uh, make some money. So, right now we have a subtool that we can turn array mesh on and then activate transpose click move choose a direction and move it in that direction okay press F and then repeat yeah sweet now we've got uh, five bars of gold. Pretty sweet, but we're not done. So let's move to the side. Whoa, that looks like the bottom. Okay. Okay. Now, now side. Okay. Now we're on the side, and let's press append now. And with the move brush, let's drag out some more gold. Okay, nice, and then repeat, perfect, I like that. Now we have a whole bunch of gold, but I'm, I'm still feeling a little bit greedy, so let's append now, and drag up, zoom out so we can drag up a little ways, okay. Perfect. And then let's make a whole lot of gold. Too much. Right there. Perfect. Sweet. And now we've got lots and lots of gold. Now I just need to take this to the bank, and I'm sure they will um, accept a rendered image of what I have at home, and they'll give me lots and lots of money. <laughs> um, and you, these uh, array meshes and uh, pen now. Uh, these stages that I've created. Oh, that's cool. It shows you what stage um, is doing what. So stage one is just uh, going straight across. Stage two is me dragging this way. And then stage three is me going up. I really love that. That's so nice. Uh, anyway, in any of these stages, uh, you can change the X, Y, and Z positioning um, so if we increase the X, it drags it that way, and Y would probably go in Y direction, and then if we go to stage 3, we can do the same thing, and that is just really cool. You can use this for all sorts of things, including gold, golden um, bars. Pretty intense. Um, has anybody calculated how much this is going to be worth? Uh, I didn't count how many I had on there, but uh, quite a bit. I'm going to count this up and go to the bank. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. This was a ray mesh, and I am excited to talk about nano mesh. Whoa, I'm I'm sure I could have talked more about array mesh, but there's just way too much in here. So, oh yeah, this is one more thing. Convert to nano or nano mesh. Uh, let's say this is what you wanted. You've been trying to make this forever and ever. You can convert that um, to a sub tool, and now you've got one huge deranged bar of gold. So you can move it and all sorts of stuff. Pretty nice. Thanks for watching, everybody.